Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people all over the motherfucking world. My name is Novi Devad, and welcome to the very first episode of the Mindset Podcast. And this podcast is very important. Well, this episode is very important and it's very special to myself and to reintroduce this great person that I know him for the rest of my life. He's my brother. He's my blood. He's the greatest right now at this moment, up and coming. His name is Gohar, so let's give him a standing ovation. Introducing Gohar. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, so what happened today was, uh, well, first, let's... Hope everybody's okay from what happened recently earlier because today, like during this podcast, an earthquake happened in New York, Philly, and Jersey. So I hope everybody's okay, everybody's safe, everybody's still with their loved ones. So yeah. Yeah, yo, you know what's crazy? I got a funny story about that. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I was in the bathroom on the toilet, right? Wait, what? I'm taking shit. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Hold on, wait a minute. I got, I got a soundboard for this one. Oh, you nasty! <laughs> Damn. So you thought it was, it was your own vibration and shit? Well, anyways, man, I got everything set up for you, man. This interview is going to be dope as fuck, especially when it comes to my brother, man. Dude, we done it the last time, and that was like five years ago. And we, we're we back right now, man. We're going to do another dope shit. But this one's probably going to be the most classic one of all. Yeah, yeah, I like this one, score. I like this one. It's been a week, you know what I'm saying? We got to be updated, too. A lot of people got a uh, Discord, you feel me? Yes, yeah, yo, for real. No, and they should too as well, because I know there's a whole lot of people, especially uh, one of my other brothers from New York. Like, he has a Discord, but he has a whole community of it. Like, he has a whole group chat of that shit. I was like, damn, man. So, I'm, so I probably might be working on Discord as well, but pretty soon, though. But this is just a start. Oh, thank you, man. Nah, that's, that's much love, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, like I went back doing music as well too. So for me is it's now more uh reviving. It's more like a rebirth this year. And it's still the progress is still going. The movement is now starting and we're gonna keep this going, especially for you, man. You've been doing this for a good minute too and like you've been evolving, you've been around hell, you've been performing too. Like with a like a handful of crowd too, like a mount of crowd as well, man. So salute to you, man. Here's your flowers, man, and all that. Yeah, and espe- especially like when people were like still not around. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. This is this is just me. I just do me. You know what I mean? I do what I do. I don't crowd chase or none of that shit. I've been doing this for a while. You know, you've been there, and you've been doing you for a while too. You know, entertaining me in different ways too. So it's like we know our resume, our history. Like it's no cap. Yeah, like you're also creative too, and lately you've been doing your pranks your skits your twitch as well like all that like you're not just like a music artist really you're you're everything you're your own creator man you create yourself of doing all this and you have everybody to pay attention to it whether if you do music or not or when you take a pause of music and you still do other things as well that's the perfect word creator we all creators Look at me and I'm fucked up, I'm a creator. 
Yeah. Exactly. We were our own gods, man. <laughs> shit. That's how I feel. Motherfucker. That's some humble shit. Like, I just do me. Like, I, I like to do art. I, I like to create. Like, and, and, and it's like nothing better than that. You feel me? You create something that's yours. And first, the most amazing thing about it is that you think about it first, right? Yes. Then you start writing down whatever you do. You try to make it happen. And it feels like surreal as well too. Like you're like, wait, that was me all this time? Like holy shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's amazing to see it from the from the start to finish. Like wow, I really create that. I just came up with it like yesterday. Like it's like it's like it's like it's like a 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 Of course. What what we doing is legacy right now for you and me, man. What we doing is keep helping each other and supporting each other. And the way we do it, man, we're not doing it because we had to or we paid to do it. No, this is brothers. Like this is us being brothers supporting each other. That's it. This is familia. This is straight family right here. Lakewood. And that's the crazy part too. It's like we both have Spanish, we both are from Lakewood, like the you know, we both came from the golden era, we like wrestling, we like music. It just like it just it just meant to be, man. And not only that, we're the only like we're not the only two. Like there's a lot of people as well too that started this and we were one of them and we opened the doors for now the future ones like the ones who are like our kids kids or our cousins or our little brothers like we're we're the ones who opened this door for them and now we let them get in like do your own thing man like work your craft and if you need us to support it and we see that you're doing so good and everything and you're being the most humble as possible then bro we got you you don't have to say nothing bro this is how the united needs to be That's true, and the crazy part too, like I know like some parents will like create a legacy just for the kids and then they force them. Me, I'm like, yo, it's your option. You don't even have to take my legacy. Hell, there could be somebody else in the family still and it's still gonna hold it down. That's it. Five years. Since yeah, five years. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. This is history right now at this point, too. Yeah. Gunshot. But yeah, man. Man, I've been chilling, man. Like, I've been hiatus for two years. Like, I did mention it on the last episode, episode zero and stuff. You know, watch that before you watch this. And it'll explain to you what happened and all stuff. And still, like, regardless whether I stopped making music or not, I kept going regardless. Like, I still try to do video edits from wrestling, anime, hip-hop, all that shit. Hell, I'm being a hip-hop historian right now when I do these um video edits as well, too. Like... Don't forget, like, just because I'm a rapper doesn't mean, like, I'm going to show love to any other rapper who was before me and also after me as well, too. You know, I'm bringing new, pe- new like, new artists that I met in New York, in New Jersey, or around here where I'm at, too, in the mountains and shit. Like, I'm going to support you guys. Like, I'm, like, I'll give you guys a platform if you need to and stuff. And the fact that I have a growing platform as well, like, bro, like, we could all eat here at this point. So yeah. Yo, check this out. I got an idea, a great idea just popped into my head like a light bulb. You ever watch cartoon? The light bulb pops up like this. Yep. But I don't got this on my soundboard. Matter of fact, hold on. I got this. This one. But anyways, go on, go hard. Yo. Oh, I played the Taco Bell um bell shit, but that's it. Out, yeah. Yeah, I Word. If anything, I'll fly over there and shit. If anything, too. So, I still, I'll still pop up in Lakewood in New York. Like just because I'm like miles away doesn't mean like you won't see me in a surprising moment. Like I'll probably be in the fucking esquina in Lakewood eating a fucking torta and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Oh yeah, me going out of pocket and shit. <laughs> Let's not spoil it though. This is the first episode. They want to watch the zero episode. They already know it's on YouTube. It's all good. We don't want to spoil it for you. Just know that I'm still the person that I am, not as out of pocket that I was on social media and shit, because damn, I almost got canceled my shit, but that's a whole different story, though, bro. This is about you right now in this episode. <laughs> yes, sir. So, right. so, yeah, like we were talking about, like, you're an artist, you're a comedian, you do Twitch, you do a whole lot of stuff, you've been around good people, too, especially with our other brother, Neek. Shout out to him, too, the greatest, too. Dope ass person. Yeah. Yo, he needs to be here too, regardless, man. Whatever we gonna do, dude, we gonna make magic, classic, history, man. Everything, boom, on that shit, hold up. Like that. But also, um, like I said, you actually did performance as well. Um, so recently you were going to perform with uh, Kirk Bangs, right? Yeah, it got rescheduled because the rainstorm the flight got delayed. Uh-huh. Okay. The new date is uh, Thursday, April 25th, 2024, and I think back Clifton, New Jersey, baby. Let's go. Y'all heard that, Jersey? April, Thursday, 25th. Be there, Clifton. Yeah, especially the Lakewood, man. Come on. You got to show some love, too, man. Yeah, 
Yep. Remember? You, hell, you've had to go back on. You want to know the day and all that stuff? You could rewind it back here and then. There we go. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Since they got respectable, I can go see who was going to be first. Me up, me up. So, I mean, you know what I mean? I did it because they were respectable. We got last couple of weeks. So, uh, I had to, you know, I had to do my voice of opinion on you know, certain things. I can't just let it slide like that. So, you know, I just, like, had to negotiate with them. If anything. That's independent one on one. That's independency one one for independent artists. If anybody who's trying to figure out how the game works, you know what to do. Uh, you can't you can't just stay shut. If if it's their fault, it's not your fault that the show got canceled the schedule. You gotta be professionally and approach them in a you know, polite way, talk to them business to business, like listen, we gotta negotiate. Spend money on for the show for the moment, and the last hour, the last minute, you want to cancel? Now nah, you can't say shut about that because that's like you taking away. Like you gotta have self respect, power to your own movement. You gotta let them know that you're not just a regular artist. If you're gonna waste my fucking time all these weeks and months, nah, hell no. We gotta talk about this shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's about respectfully too, so I know where you're getting at. You could just tell the world like they false advertising. Right now they fraud. You know what I'm saying? Like it is not even about the money, it's about the passion. They like people wanna rock the stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, I know, I understand. Yeah, people wanna represent. Like people hit me up, I'm proud of you, like that's motivation, like people gassing, like people showing up calling out of work for that day like it's more to this shit so you gotta let them know that you're not here to play you feel me yeah like you and your supporters as well too cause friends and family like you said people actually call out for work just to see you perform especially on the stage like that too like so yeah so like but it was cool I treated it like a regular day it was about nothing you know what I'm saying cause I ain't going Cause it's a new generation of music right now, so and and him coming to New Jersey, you feel me? Because Quick Bangs, he's from Texas, mm-hmm. he's from Texas. He's coming to New Jersey, Quick in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. A lot of new, like a lot of his fan base is like younger and different generation, so they they know me before him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, come on, man. You, that's another thing about Jersey. I feel like they came with Jersey a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, your flight delayed, you should have been here like the night before or something. Like, come on, my nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? Professionally, like, you, you should have been a step ahead. So I just feel like if you came with Jersey name, I don't like that shit, bro. You feel me? No, I get you. We, we got a new date, though. You know what I'm saying? And I could decide if I want to go or not. I could go fuck another show. I could get fucked from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could throw my own shit. I could fuck somewhere else that's actually like what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, and again, it's like respectfully and professionally as well, like in your end as well. So that's a good way for do it. So, you know, applause for that one. At the end of the day, like, luckily, I ain't lose nothing out of it. It was just that, it was, it was like, only thing I lost was like the uh, opportunity. You know what I'm saying? But they come and go. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not like uh, I'm opening up for like little baby, for little dirt. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know what I mean? They, 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 they popping right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not really losing nothing. Just a little opportunity, so I'm good. But, you know, I'll do respect, though. Like, I'm ready. I'm always ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When this shit happens, but for independent artists, you just can't let... You, you got to have, like, a voice for your picture. Like, you got to have a voice. Like, you got to show people that... You're not just a regular, like, you're not doing this shit for fun, like, don't, you know what I'm saying, like, 
like, bro, uh, Texas, New York, all that other places, they got opportunities. There's no big opportunities like that. Yeah. And again, like, just like, keep it professional respectfully, too, because even though by the end of the day it's still a business, even though you had to keep your emotion like away from it the best you can because hell I could be mad as a motherfucker if somebody decided to cancel the show and stuff and then I go on some fucking rampage and shit but that's my emotion talking but in the mindset of a businessman a professional you'd be like okay you just shrug it off but yeah you could work something out of it at the same time though too yeah yeah it's, it's, it's never really good to like rampage and just like backlash outlash like just be wild and you know what I'm saying it's a different but that, nah, I think like a regular guy kept the pushing cool because I wasn't on the park. I was about there at the park one. Mm-hmm. I was still in Lakewood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, ah, uh, that cool. That kind of like helped me out because I was I, I didn't go nowhere. Yeah. Like you were at home anyway. Like he got he came to the house anyway too. Like he came to your home your home state, and then like nothing ever affected to you because like you were coming to my state. So. Yeah. That's that type of dude I am. You feel me? Like, I will pull up or play in the kids. Like, all right, fuck it. Then we talk. Then we pull up and then we talk to them and then we see if I can just perform myself. Like, I, I was still talking to them. You feel me? Yeah. If I'm big. Because that's not the type of nigga. All they could say is no. You can't. All right, cool. I'm cool with that. That's you know, true. That's true. No, but at least I try. You feel me? Yeah. But I was nowhere near there. I was still in the hood. I was still chilling, and I was like, all right, fuck it, boom, but, but I still do a party after that. I still perform in my private party, though. So I still I still made it up. Whoever paid for a ticket, I performed for them in that private party, though. Now, see, that's a good thing, too. See, you, you have a heart, man. You're not only a, a creative artist with a, with a genius mindset, but you also have a good heart as well at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I moved with a real fan base. Cause, like, you too. Like, if I just keep it real. Yo, nobody, bro. Yo. If you, if you bought a ticket, if you, you didn't see me or Cook Man, I came to see you. Do you care about seeing him perform? Nope. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Bottom line, we, we can move on to the next question. Nah, nah, let me give you a standard vision because you guys should talk to me this shit. So, yeah. So, speaking about your music, man, I um, actually did went back today this morning. Like, I literally woke up and the first thing I was like, you know what? I'm interviewing my brother. I know it's been a minute. I listened to your music and stuff. So, you know, let me go to the ones that I did cut off listening to. And the ones that I, that I did listen to. Dude, most of them were all featured by you, and yet you still carry these songs. And that's out of respect from the other artists, too, because the way how you did it, man, it's like you went on a, like, again, you've been doing this for five years, man. You sound like you were doing this for, like, your whole entire life, man. And the way how your bars went, especially one of the songs, like, you went on some freaky shit, too. And I found that shit funny, but I was like, damn, okay, I know where we was going now on this one, which is pretty dope, and... There is one song that got me over my head. Like, it just hit me in my face because, like, I like again, like you said, we're both Latinos and stuff. And yet, thing is, I never expected you to be on a Spanish song, though, too. And it's called Si Yo Fui Millonario, If I Was a Millionaire. And it's pretty dope there, too, because the way how it was, like, damn, yeah, that's... Uh, you want my boy? That's his name, Oh, shit. Okay. I, I have it right here, too, which is dope. And also, um, I remember uh, you also did a music video for the Lemon Pepper Freestyle, right? Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, that song was pretty dope, and the way how you, like, the direct, like, the music video itself was actually pretty dope, too, and was crazy. I saw Neek, like, was he high as hell in that fucking scene? Because the way he was cheesing, man. Yeah, he was fried. Motherfucker. <laughs> Brother Brad, like, w- wait, I forgot. I'm trying to remember what was it, because I got that picture in my Facebook, though, too. Like, it's my cover thing. But that was, like, a while ago. Yeah, like, he had that cheesing smile with, a, I think it was actually a lemon pepper spice, I think. But, yeah, that shit was funny, though. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna put that picture, like, in my office and shit, just to see, like, that's my boy. <laughs> nah, but shout out to you. Shout out to Nick, man. Shout out to Nick. Yo, Nick, if you're hearing this, love you, bro. Miss you. And also, um, not only that, like you, like speaking about Nick though too, is like you two actually went on the same event too, um, not too long ago, which was a battle rap thing, right? Yeah, like, people need to talk about this shit, man. Yeah, that, yo, yeah, that, was, that, was, that was a fire experience, man. Talk about it, man. Talk, yeah, so, me and Nick was on the car. He, he actually had, like, a two-on-two. His first time we doing a two-on-two. His debut. And it was a tag match. Yeah. Oh, so it was a debut matches for both of you then. Yeah, so that's 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 what made it so dope. You from and it was Nick debut two on two. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of debut. But I won debut performance of the night, won performance of the night too. So we sold out, man. I mean we won stand up. Stand up, man. Stand up, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Sending ovation, man. Of course, man. Yeah, so I'm like, you know what? I was crazy with this shit, man. I know how this shit is, man. So next thing you know, I won day two performance of the night you won. So it's like, you came too. Okay, so, you know what I mean? It is what it is, bro. But that's good. The battery ain't dropped yet, but it's going to drop soon in a couple of weeks. So once it drops, we're going to have to push it. See, that's the thing. Like, the only reason why I knew about it is because how unique um had clips about it, and then that moment, like, you guys were literally sharing it the whole day till that day hit. Like, I was like, damn, man, these guys are gonna go in. It's gonna be a dub. Fuck it. And Neek is always gonna be a win regardless. Cause, again, you said that Neek been there for years. Hell, he been telling me all the time where's his next um event is. As a matter of fact, he always sent me pictures of like a hip hop T-shirt and our wrestling thing, and he's like, yo. When I wear this shit, bro, I think of you, and we both going out together with this shit. He even so, um, showed me, uh, think he sent me a picture of a Wu Tang T-shirt. He said, "Bro, I know you fuck with Wu Tang, and guess what? We gonna represent this shit." I was like, "Word." Then he showed me, I think, I think it was the Undertaker's Stone Cold, because I know he's also a big fan of wrestling. But yeah, this man always have like a heart on his on his chest, but love and support on the back too. So. See, that's pretty dope. Yeah, so that's the rest of the thing. That's another thing, too. Like, I like the fact that we got a community that we all in the same building, watch each other perform or, or battle, and we just support each other. You know what I mean? We're in person. Like, that's how you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? You feel like recording. You got documents. You know what I mean? Like, that's history. Like, that, that, was, that, that event was really dope. I ain't going to lie. But my first time, like, 
I've been bad about the mental people from my actual, like, first time on YouTube ever. Bad my first time on playing with my pony too. And we all actually did good. And the energy was crazy. We was deep. Because I, I, I pulled up deep. I was like, this is 10 deep in the late for niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So we was deep in it. Hmm. Plus, these people in New York, people, where we did. So that shit was crazy. I couldn't wait for this drop, bro. And I'm not even exaggerating. When it dropped, if it ever dropped, cause you, like you say, you seen my live, you seen the IG videos, my, my round, you seen little clips and all that. So I'm not posting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when the battle actually drops, you're going to see, like, what? These niggas, you're going to meet him on Pony Big Club, bro. I think we had, like, the best battle, one of the best battles of the night, bro. I'm telling you. And it's crazy because niggas that have been battling over five years still choking. Still messing up, still sloppy, unprofessional. And you got two new boobs who love and, and perform better than y'all. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. You're going to see, like, yo, bro. You're going to see, like, damn, these, these niggas. Me, shout out to Donna Skizzy. That's my opponent. Man. Like, shout out, man. Shout out. Like, me, me, it was Gohard, Excellent versus Donna Skizzy. We both did good. Gonna see this, you're gonna see the video. Everybody, the whole world, gonna see the video. Like, wow, it's their first time ever. Battle like that, yo, bro, this shit is crazy, bro. There's no exaggeration, my nigga. This is more like a boxing match, but it was a sparring of debut for both of y'all. And that's, yeah, like you said, it, it, it's crazy. So, shit. And knowing that, uh, and knowing. No, for, for real, man. Shit, the last time I watched one, I think it was uh. Damn it, I for, it's been a minute. It was last year one. It was the one with uh. Damn, I forgot their names now, man. It is, right now, I'm caught in the moment to be honest. But if uh, if I find out the videos, I'll send it to you pr um, privately, bro. Cause that, cause that one was actually pretty dope as well too. Like I had to download Caffeine for the very first time, and I had to tell Nika, I was like, yo. To this event, man, is that pretty dope? Like, yep, just go, just go download the um app, and that's it. And that's what I did, and boom, that shit was crazy. I had, I was like, during the time I was doing my own thing, I had that shit set up, and I was hearing the bars while I was doing my shit. I was like, what the fuck you said? And the female battle rappers, whoo, fucking fiends. Me? You came back with the podcast mindset. I like that. Man, I dropped like two EPs in the beginning of the year. Fucking. Yeah. The Fallen King and the Year of the Dragon. That's the two EPs that I dropped at the beginning of the year, man. That's my shit, man. Matter of fact, I need my own standing ovation with this shit, too. Fuck. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta send me those links, man. Of course, man. I got it already locked and stuff. And I got you. And uh, not only that, I'm probably going back to rapping very soon. Very soon. No bullshit this time. Because, whew. And trust me, I won't be rapping and be this confident without Nick as well. Because he's the reason why he told me to fucking freestyle. And I freestyle top of my dome. And boom. Me and him became... He's the guy that literally pushed me pushed me to the stage and, sh and stuff. And got me doing my thing. And then... Next you know, me and him became like sibling rivalry because they it can't be no like we can't be brothers without no competition as well too. So, so for me and him, it's always gonna be love, and he knows if he needs a verse, he he know who to he knows who to call and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. I'm glad you know we all stick together since day one, bro. That's all it's about, man. Because and and that's that's another thing too, like. A lot of people like to compete with each other. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because we all, we, we all going to, like, reaching for the same goal. We, going, we aiming for the same target. You know what I'm saying? So we all at the same level. So it's like, but if you want to do, like, a friendly competition, that's the only thing I can look at it is, like, y'all pushing each other, y'all full potential, or, or motivate each other. But if y'all on some other, like, 
going against each other that it's not going to work out. You know yeah. No, it's like as long as they're both mindset, like we both are competitive, but let's be competitive by making a fucking hit song and shit. Make a hit, make a hit rap song, make a fucking, like make something a banger at this point. Make these people talk about like, oh, like have you heard da 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 this and da 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 that and then, oh, maybe he switched his own flow and he probably went into a different scenario or the producer gave them this dope ass beat and boom, they both fucking went at, not at each other, but just let, like, let them know, like, we still got it, and yet we still not only targeting each other, but we also going at, not against, like, in a negative ways, like, letting everybody know, like, we're not only individually competitively, but when it comes together, who's going to stop us now, if anything? Like, Watch the Throne and shit, or Wu-Tang type of shit. Yeah. Or other shit, like, you can't be a yes man. Of course. Shit don't work out. Every, everything be yes, 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 yes. Nah. You can't do that shit. Because it's like, where the honesty at? Like, because if we all doing this shit, because I work with people. Right now, I work with people that's, like, better. Like, we mm-hmm. all got experience. Like, at this time, right now, I don't really got pay time to me and my, my homies. My, my team, whatever, you know what I'm saying, my brothers, like, but if I work with a new artist, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to, like, guide them the right way, but if they feel like, oh, uh, I'm hating that, that, that's another thing, when you hate me because you try to, no, it's not about that. No, it's guidance. It's like, why you think, why you think you got teachers? Why you think you go to school and you take multiple classes with different teachers, right? Yeah. Nah, you're right, you're right. Anyway, there's like this a whole lot of great talents to be honest. Like why could like why hating each other when we could just work together or build a, a a relationship that could just help both of you guys and if you guys go separate ways, like it's no hard feelings or anything, like the connect the bond is there. You know what I'm saying? We all grab masters at this point, to be honest. Yeah, masters, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we give each other advice, you know, listen, like, it ain't no joke. Like, we're not going to lead each other to the wrong path. That's how I see it, you know what I'm saying? But we come together, we talk, we're going to come up with some great ideas. And for me, like, you know what, since we're talking about that, and I know people probably going to have, like, a eyebrow raise and shit, what I'm about to say, but look at what happened to the start of hip-hop. In Bronx, you had... These big three that literally gave birth to it, which is Grandmaster Flash, DJ Cool Herc, and Africa Bombada. And now in Lakewood, years ago, yes, we had so many people who did Jersey Club music. Shout out to the movement, too. Uh, rappers, people who, who try to create stuff, or people who try to be entrepreneurs. Like, now we got a big three ourselves, and it's you, me, and Neek. Like, we're the ones that are still pushing it. And yet, we're still motivating at the same time with others. Like, we built this door for y'all to enter. And shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're talking about. And not sound arrogant and all that shit. I've been claiming myself as the king of Lakewood. But my work actually talks for itself, too. And I know, again, eyebrows going to be raising and I still don't care. But even though, like, I claim myself as a king of Lakewood... I still gonna show love and support regardless. And this is what I'm doing right now. Like I'm doing this interview with you because we're brothers and we show love to each like we show love to this craft and this culture and everything, man. Yeah, yeah. And you know there's, there's, there's always more than one kings and there's a god. Of course. Yeah. We all gods, we're all kings, we're all uh-huh. we all like hell, we're we we made our hands dirty just for you guys well, to have this. You know what? 
bro, like the artist, my nigga. That's how every artist supposed to feel, bro. Yeah. You're really, truly passionate to yourself. You put, you're not supposed to see yourself as a slave or like a lower worker or like a, a low rank. You want it like after, after like certain challenges, after you know you got yourself together. You want to see yourself like you. You're not gonna consider yourself like a little nigga. No. You want to be a king of God. Like you, that's how you gotta carry yourself because if you don't carry yourself that shit, you're never gonna be that shit. That's how um everything goes. So I, I feel you. You know what? Like, bro, it's it's, it's all competitive, bro. All competitive talk. Like you, you're supposed to feel that way. And you know what? We need people like you to say that to motivate, wake up. Like you know what? He's the king. If he's the king, I'm the king too. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, all right, now people in their fucking bags. You know yeah. What I'm now, now people in their bags. You know what I'm saying? Because now you could be in the room right now, like, for example, that night when me and you, me, when I did the Go Hard Effect. Right? Nah, Go Hard Effect. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen no more this time. I ain't know I could spark the blunt, but I sparked it in your house. Yeah. We in a room full of artists and this and shit too. Like we all feel like kings. Like nobody fuck like we was lower than nobody. Like I look at Eek, I look at you, everybody like I'm not gonna say I'm higher or lower than y'all. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we all king, we all boss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you I feel like you know what I'm saying? Cause there's always more than one boss. There's always more than one king. There's always more than one girl. You know what I'm saying? God shit like that's how y'all can. Yeah, and like every single time, like it's always been in my house and my room and stuff because that's how that's the only place that every single artist could be welcome. And it wasn't just you two guys, there was other more people too. And then just I guess the way how the room read was that oh, I'm the guy that's been moving so much this and that, and I guess they felt inferior or they feel some type of way. No, it wasn't. Like, yes, I was that good at rapping. Yes, I had this kind of resources, but that doesn't mean that you can't do the same as well. That's the thing. Yeah, see people get mixed up, you know what I'm saying? Like, supposed to feel like that's a competition. Even when they're starting too, which is crazy. Like, I was having so many students come to my house. Where are they at now? And I'm sorry that I had to say this in this episode, but they're gone. But you know what? It's a whole different story, a different episode I'm going to talk about. And it's just going to be just me by myself. But I'm just going to let that be right there. But that's it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. you making a new album now? Like, when's it, when's it out? Like, do you got a due date? Oh shit, so it's a full, full album then. Any features? Hey man, that's what's up, man. Go ahead, man. Yo, let me know what the album drops. Like, keep me updated with everything, you know what I'm saying? Because you're busy, I'm busy too, but we always, like, hit each other privately, like, and then just like see like yo this is what we doing right now on the low boom boom and you you going to know bro you know what i'm saying yeah and, uh, and another thing too uh at the end of, at the end of this end of interview i want to post up some links so you can promote true true man i got you you know that man yeah man and what's it called uh what's up, bro? Hmm? You got Oh no, I got plenty of questions still to like, like we already kind of fill in all that. We had our little stories. Hell, we even had a few flashbacks too, man. Cause damn, what we saying right now is a lot more what we did on the last one. So this is like this tops the the last interview that we had five years ago, man. And it's pretty dope that you're here, man. And I appreciate you like coming to this very first episode. And like again, yeah, man, I love you, bro. Just know that. No, thank you, thank you. And also, shout out to Nick, too. We know we be name-dropping you, but you know it's always going to be love. You know that, bro. 
And shout out to the Attitude Era. Yeah, yeah. Also shout out to the Attitude Era. Which by the way. It leads up to this. Because. This is. What's the date? April 5th? Yeah. April 5th. This is WrestleMania week. And we've been talking about wrestling as well. This podcast as well. And this interview. Bro. Have you been up to date with wrestling? Of now? Mm-hmm. Are you aware that The Rock is there? I, I always watch old school too. Uh huh. My, my, my favorite, my favorite wrestlers are The Rock, Stone Cold, Undertaker, Kane, and Triple H. See that? See, I knew it was The Rock because I was going because I, I was about to say that uh, The Rock is actually wrestling tomorrow and Sunday. No, not Sunday. Tomorrow. Word, I got you, man. Hell, you could go on Peacock, bro. It's, it's not expensive and shit, but it's pretty good. Hell, I already put so many plugins on so many fucking, uh, like, so many corporation fucking apps, bro. You, these motherfuckers need to sponsor me. I don't give a fuck. Especially the WWE, man. They need to sponsor me ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, uh... If I give you like a whole scenario of the, like if I give you if I text you a short length of what happened this year with the rock, you'll probably understand what the fuck is going on. Like quickly. Yeah, I will you can send me after the uh, word. Um also, um your top five, like I know we talked about your top five five years ago. By any chance, um did it change by the five years? Yeah. What? Only change one person of my top five. Okay, um, not saying don't you don't have to do an order or anything and shit, but all right, name your top five. Okay, I I put uh okay, I'm gonna do the same four as before, and then the last one I'm gonna say is I changed. Okay. All right, the same order was Big Pun. Okay. Baby Kiss. Okay. Fifty Cent. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's the very first time his name came out of your mouth. What? I have not. I think I missed that. Oh, we're okay, okay. Okay, so you know what's crazy? You mentioned Lil Wayne because the same day that you were supposed to perform with Coco Banks, he actually was trying to perform over here where I was at. I was trying to find people to hang out with, but then again, the people over here is not the same people as the ones I have in Jersey with you and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's the chemistry, the bond, and all that shit. It's just, it's a whole different thing over here. That's the only culture shock that it affects me. But anything else? Yeah, Lil Wayne was supposed to, like, did perform. On the 28th and stuff, so yeah, so yeah. And what's it called? Um, I know. Oh yeah, he's a great. Oh, see now, now that you mentioned Lil Wayne too, he's also gonna be in WrestleMania tomorrow. Oh wow! See, the Rock and Lil Wayne they gonna be together tomorrow. Yeah. Wow, meant to be, man. You see that shit? And it's in Philly too. Yep. Two wow. nights. Yo, that's great. I'm definitely not tuning in. I'm gonna go fuck how much it costs, man. It's only like five or six dollars. That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for that shit. Right? Yeah, hell yeah. What the fuck? Where I got you. I'm gonna turn it up. Uh, what time tomorrow? Um, six or seven. That's when they start up the kickoff. Somewhere around there. Uh, that's what they call it over there. I don't know why they say it, like no beginning, but yeah, I think it starts at seven. But don't take my word for it. I'll let you know later on today, though. 
Because SmackDown is today too, and I can't wait, bro. I just wanted to see The Rock get his ass whooped. I'm sorry, that's it. He got me. He he got me to the point that he gets his ass whooped. Where he's at right now, yes, you could call me a hate on that one. But I know Monday they were at Brooklyn too, and I wanted his ass beat. Didn't happen. I was like, you son of a bitch. Um, he's not wrestling nobody right now. He's cutting promos, but yeah, he's not getting his hands dirty for the past two weeks. No, he's just jumping people. He's jumping one person, and to be honest, then he jumped just two people now. Okay, so thing is, The Rock is with Roman Reigns since they're family, and the winner who won the Royal Rumble was Cody Rhodes. So he has to face against Roman Reigns again this year. But this time on the first night, it's the Rock, Roman versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Another champion. Yeah, I, I, I know Roman versus Rock was related. I seen a uh, video when The Rock smacked somebody. Yeah, that was Cody Rhodes. Uh, and he won anyways? Because thing was that um, I'll, I'll let you know on text, to be honest.